Hello my dear friends good morning this is your friend Dr Suresh and we here and uh, this video is about uh, a reply to a question uh, which is put by one of my viewer on aspire 32 and it is uh, he is asking me that how should uh, he or she be preparing for entrance exam in early days of dentistry uh, that means they are there when they are doing their first year to final year uh, bds this is a very nice question and uh, uh, i think uh, it is it is really nice to hear from students that they have this thought because uh, i have been a teacher and what i have realized is the the important thing about uh, you know achieving something is first to have a goal so many times what happens is the students don't have this goal in their mind and that's why it becomes too late to prepare for it so if you have this goal that is the first step which you have taken and uh, let me see uh, you know let me tell you few things which uh, you can do as an undergraduate to prepare for entrance the good thing here is during my undergraduation days we never have had mcq but now i'm sure many of the universities have made mcq compulsory in their exam but unfortunately in spite of knowing that uh, you should uh, have you have mcqs in the exam many students uh, simply go without preparing specifically for mcq and just answer them now when you are reading theoretically and when you are preparing mcqs the important thing to know is the mcq is highly specific it doesn't matter whether you have read that chapter very well or whether you have understood very well what is important is you know the fact for example uh, take a, a specific gic so gic they might uh, specifically ask you which component of uh, the uh, uh, glass isomer cement bonds with the uh, which component of the tooth structure many students simply know that they, they it has chemical bond or some students may even not know it has chemical bond uh, i know it is disheartening but uh, there are good students who have knowledge but not very specific and in with, when it comes to mcqs the questions are very very specific and uh, that is why preparing for your mcqs from the mcq books during your early days is so important i had done it in my final year when i brought when my brother told me that i should be preparing that way side by side in spite of not having mcq in our exam the theory exam so first thing is you get the uh, you know uh, textbook mcq any book you can choose uh but what is important is you solve the mcqs and once you read for the first time you won't be able to answer majority of that because your thought is not aligned that way right what we are taught in undergraduate level is to just remember mug and write it theoretically and if if you are a good student if you understood it you have lot of knowledge but the marks what comes for knowledge is slightly less you know because that is how the exam pattern is framed they will see how is your handwriting whether you have made headings and all you know whether you have drawn the diagrams and all but in mcq that doesn't happen you know the answer you know it specifically you will get marks so there is a mismatch between this preparation but fortunately because you know that mcq is also a part of your theory exam this is the best way to prepare for it so uh, what i would like to tell you is suppose you are reading cements okay so then at the same time you will have to solve the cement mcqs from the mcq textbook <clears throat> there are many textbooks like dental pulse gauri shankar dentist uh, so many books you know and uh, sometimes you have to buy only authentic books because you may have lot of books but sometimes there are printing mistakes and uh, answer may be wrong and that you will keep in your mind that that is the answer so always go for authentic books also make sure that even because i know i i am a author for dentist co author for dentist there are some mistakes which happen so challenge yourself if there is a mistake 
चैलेंज यूर सेल्फ एंड फाइंड दैट मिस्टेक फ्रॉम योर टेक्सट बुक गो बैक एंड सी इन थेरी वाई दिस इज रिटर्न दिस वे वेन वेन द एंसर इज सपोज टू बी दिस मेनी टाइम्स दैट यू मे अज्यूम एज अ स्टूडेंट ट्रस्ट मी दैट वी अज्यूम that this is the answer but when you actually go and check repeatedly then you understand why that can't be the answer so it is not about remembering it is about understanding that one fact and to know why that is important because see you have various restorative materials right why should i remember the chemical bond of glass and number cement undergraduates don't don't understand it because by the time you actually do the case you will be in the third year or final year okay and suppose you have a cervical abrasion or any lesion in the root surface right but as a student we always think it is better to do composite here it is better to do some other restoration but why gic is important in that right and that is related to the chemical bond and why is that because you know that in root surface enamel is less right cementum is more in organic structure is less if you bond if you try to bond bond composite then the bonding of composite is very less plus elastic modulus so many factors are there that is why that chemical bond is important because that will last longer in cases where the inorganic structure is less and maintaining isolation like class 5 lesion is very difficult right so but you don't understand it as undergraduate student because you are not reached there and you are trying to prepare for this at early days right that is why you have to give time to analyze these questions early days it won't happen you simply have to read the question and answer and try to understand it you can learn things in various forms you can you can watch youtube videos you can learn the textbook right but ultimately the answers come from authentic theory textbooks like if you want to have you know if you see the answers for dental materials questions are always from the philips or craig right so read that you may not have to read the description because i know that covering mcq plus is description is very difficult in early days of your dentistry because you have so many things to do so you can just read the uh, theory and then just solve the mcqs and when you are again reading the theory mark those points in a textbook that is the first thing you have to do that you have to read the mcq books you can tell me you don't have time unfortunately that is not right everybody has time everybody has time if they want to read little extra you have to do sacrifices if you want to prepare ahead second is if you have those theoretical textbooks don't give it to anyone unless you have done it your under graduation and you have cleared the post graduation because many times what happens is you have this visual memory when you have read the theoretical textbooks a lot and and when you read this mcq books and you mark those important points in the theory if when you come to internship you will require this textbook because then it becomes easier to find that you had already marked this point you had already marked this point so keep those theoretical textbooks with you okay because i know that uh, theoretical very high standard books new editions <coughs> do not come very often so things doesn't change so keep those textbooks with you uh, till you enter the post graduation the third important thing is you have when you come to your internship okay or suppose in between you have any new mcq edition always buy the new editions right many times what what happens is suppose you are preparing for your entrance exam from third year and by the time you come to internship you may have a new mcq edition so you might assume that i have already put money i have already read those old books so why should i buy the new books of entrance exam that's a not a good that's not a good idea because newer editions have you know new questions added latest questions added and they will put uh, you know um, all this reduce those corrections which uh, may have happened in earlier edition 
so you have to do that you know so always buy new mcq textbook edition if they if they appear in the markets and you have to track track it after that the important thing here is you have various mobile applications nowadays available okay for mcq some are free some are paid uh, i know this because when i was preparing for the nbd he i had uh, these uh, dental uh, board mastery or there are so many mcq applications we spend so much time on social media uh, for maybe you know insta or facebook for maybe other activities but why not spend this time to solve mcq suppose you are traveling somewhere suppose you are you are going to uh, your dental institute but you have one hour with you for travel or half an hour with you for travel use that time to solve the mcqs but here also you have to remember one important point that uh, many times the answers may not be authentic so if you think the questions are not you know answer is not right always go back and check but learning from different different sources really help for, for you like for example if i want to understand a theoretical chapter i will read from multiple books i will watch videos to understand i will speak to people i will talk to my teacher and try to understand it right i will talk to my colleagues who have used that material so that is how you should be doing um this is what for now uh, i think uh, is important but the most important thing which i would like to tell you is to have the goal and second most important thing is whether you prepare for entrance whether you have you know goal of going to foreign countries all portions are really same many students waste so much time you know waiting to come to internship that you know i have not decided whether i want to go to post graduation or whether i want to go abroad and you know they simply postpone the time or you know simply wait till that occasion to happen and when you reach there when you decide and when you think that this is when i will start preparing that time is really not sufficient and over a period of time see this is my 10th year as uh, after my post graduation maybe yeah 2012 this is 10th year i realize that if i have interest if i show interest and try to learn more about the product or any material that is the best way of learning you know not that if i have exam if i think i have exam and i will prepare i will always try to prepare less i will restrict myself to that exam and my knowledge will be less but if i don't have exam and i simply want to read for the sake of knowledge and try to know about the materials what i am using every day that is the best way of you know developing facts and retaining them in your mind while using that while you are already reading for theory in under graduation or watching that material on youtube you try to find that more material that is the best way of learning and nobody knows whether 5 years down the lane you know whether you will be doing clinical practice or whether you will be doing uh, you know you will appear for entrance exam or whether you will be going abroad okay nobody knows nobody knows what god has made a plan for them simply prepare and remember the facts understand the facts and try to prepare ahead than others and if the god has, if god has written that this is your destiny that will def- definitely happen but you have to prepare ahead if you want an extra edge have a good day bye for now